Hello guys, it's Akra here, and today I am going to be explaining all the mods I have and how they work. And I'm also going to be putting the links to all the mods in the description so you guys won't get ratted. And also because, let's be honest, it's way more easy to just go in my description, isn't it? But all the mods I have are basically mods that just makes the game more fun and makes it way more easier. Which makes this ideal for anyone that just started the game and that doesn't have mods. And also makes this ideal deal for those that don't know how they work and I'm gonna be explaining it to you guys so yeah congratulations to Marco on winning the giveaway on the glowstone gauntlet video I am also gonna be doing another 10 million coins giveaway on this video so if you guys want just comment down below and you're automatically entered so yeah good luck to everyone first mod on my list is gonna be optifine optifine basically makes it so your game runs way more better you get more FPS it kind of makes it look like you have a way more bigger view distance even if it's low so for example mine is 8 yet I can see way more further than if I didn't head off the fine so it's pretty handy just makes the game run way better and just just in general it's just just download it second thing on my list is gonna be chat triggers now after downloading chat trigger what you want to do is that you're gonna want to do slash ct import supi v2 and as you can see I already have it installed so yeah yeah. and after to access supi you're gonna want to do slash supi and here you go so what's uh, good about this is that it has lots of good stuff of course so for the mushroom video lots of people didn't know how to do this but you just write mushroom in the search bar and there it is for the mycelium video you just write zapper here it is and if you go in basically lots of this you can just go through these I'm not gonna go through all of it since it would take forever but I use this this stats to show if you turn this stuff on next to people's name it will show their net worth their weight their catacombs level their skill average and you just literally need to stare at the player to see this stuff so like for me I just have it on net worth so I can see other players net worth whenever I'm playing dungeons and stuff if you come over here you can always click on this to check any skyblock youtuber or streamer on twitch that streams and it's gonna show everyone that's currently live stat graphs you can search up people people's stats and it's gonna give you a graph so it's gonna show like a chart showing what was your net worth at a specific date and how much it increased if you go here this is to check your net worth and etc next is gonna be Dolker after downloading Dolker you want to click shift and it's automatically gonna open it up I'm not sure if there's a command for it let me check and no okay well you just it's automatically gonna be bind to your right shift button the one just below your enter button you click it you access this and it's gonna show a list of the the other mods but you just want to click on Dulker, and then you're gonna have the general dungeons random stuff and then you go on animation this is where people ask me how I get the small hands well these are my settings size you can see the numbers I've placed here and yeah that's basically it if you want to look through the other stuff that's up to you but this is what I use it for just to make my hand smaller whenever I'm holding an item for example this is my terminator so yeah it's just more it's just fun it's just fun in general to have this because yeah it's, it's a customizable mod it doesn't really help generally in gameplay so I have dungeon room mod which basically just gives all the waypoints to secrets and stuff inside of dungeons which is very helpful if you want to do fast dungeons so yeah definitely a must I have any you or also known as not enough updates if you download it and you go on slash any you you get all of this stuff you can set it so it basically shows price information on auction house inventory um, this is where I edit my inventory buttons you go here and then you can make uh, like this is my pets then this is my wardrobe this is going to dungeons hub crimson isles kudra private island and then his this is to visit portal hub for the daily cakes so as you can see visit it basically just shows what it does right here slash visit portal hub slash visit crimson visits hub slash visit wardrobe and etc so you just it's just more of a shortcut you got skill overlays this will make it way more better for whenever you're grinding a skill in particular seeing your xp an hour and stuff like that it's going to be useful information and there's also a slayer overlay so same concept uh, dungeon profits this is like very good because it shows how much profit you're making off the dungeon chest and one of the most fun things about any you 
is whenever you're looking for an item inside of your ender chest or your storage in general if i'm looking for monkey pets because i have monkey pets i type in monkey and then automatically i can see here that there's a bunch of monkeys being highlighted and these are the monkey pets i have and if i look into a chest on the island maybe i'm i lost an item i don't know where it is for an example maybe i'm looking for a juju and stuff like that and i'm just like juju you double click it so no juju's not in my inventory it's not in this chest not in this one not in this one come over here oh highlighted so if you're looking for an item just click a bunch of chests until you see an item that's highlighted and pretty useful and it's what i use for finding all the attributes inside of auction so like you type in attribute chart then you want to look for monopool so you type in monopool and then it's going to show all the monopools highlighted i have skyblock add-ons so if you do slash sba or if you just go on escape you can also find it in this corner and then you have a bunch of stuff if you look at the gui i have a few things that i don't really care for that's on here but um you can see when i'm in combat the dark auction fancy warp menu if you want something fancy so like just this in general this is the fancy warp menu uh, replace roman numerals on items if i select this on it's basically going to give me a bunch of actual numbers instead of roman numbers this is more visually easy for you you can come over here and instead of getting a bunch of those weird roman numbers it's going to make it way more easier to just tell what level you are so yeah that's also pretty good the item pickup blog this is basically if you get something into your inventory somewhere on your screen, it's going to show the items you've gotten and the items you've lost. So if I was to maybe buy like a cobblestone, as you can see right here down below on my screen, it says plus one cobblestone. If I was to sell this cobblestone, minus one cobblestone and an enchanted book. And I did not meant to insta sell that, gosh dang it. But as you can see, it shows what you've lost from your inventory and what you've gained from your inventory. So it's just nice to know what goes and comes out of your inventory whenever you're playing. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Now for the next mod, it's going to be Sky Tills. Very, very popular. So if you go on uh, like one of the functions is not having armor even though I'm wearing armor so like I'm wearing my infernal aurora set and you cannot see my armor so if you go in sky tills config I can go and write transparent and this is where you can just 100 100% and my armor is back on but if I don't want my armor to be seen go back on here and a zero and there you go so you're gonna have lots of dungeon stuff in here you can also put uh, dungeon puzzles so if you put Puzz, uh, puzzle you have a bunch of solvers on here which will make dungeons way more easier you also have terminals for f7 which is a good money maker so if you put terminals you will have all the terminal solvers here as well now this is to bypass the kudra cooldown which is very nice so this is a thing you got mining crystal hollow death waypoints crystal hollows map a bunch of stuff related to crystal hollows and etc and you can see here here, this is very useful stuff so you yeah, definitely recommend this if you do dungeons and maybe a few other things you might want to look into oh yeah I forgot if you go in sky tills you don't also just have configs but you can go and edit locations to just move around your GUI you can go and edit key shortcuts visit YouTube outro just any command any command and then you set it to a key bind it's gonna basically automatically make it so it's just a key bind and makes it more easier depending on what you're doing maybe you want to set keys to work places instead of using any u and putting buttons on here like i do then you got the spam filter edit waypoints this you can add waypoints which is very very useful so for example if i just do this and i put new category immediately my uh, waypoint is going to be set to where i'm spawned and then if someone gives you coordinates you can go into edit waypoints and add new waypoint and you can modify it right here you can edit notifications so whenever it, you basically type what's gonna be said in chat so maybe like if you get a judgment core 
you write in judgment core right here and it's going to analyze whenever it says judgment core in chat and then it's going to give you a big pop-up saying judgment core or whatever you put in here this is the message you want to be shown on screen whenever this is said in chat so this is like whenever blood room is finished so it will say that will be enough for now and then i put blood is ready because that's what i want to see whenever it happens and then this is just to indicate uh how much time it's going to be displayed on screen higher number the longer it stays. I forgot to mention for the Sky Tales mod, um, if you go and click right here and you stay in this menu and you if you want to become small like what I am sometimes in the videos where my character model is smaller, you'd want to go on your arrow keys in the main menu and do up up down down left right left right and then you want to go on your keyboard keys and then type or click b a now it's going to give me this screen and then you're going to put add secret small people save and now you just have to exit and come back in so just refresh the lobby and now i'm small and everyone else is small and now you're going to see a bunch of children running around so yeah fun. now for the last mod it will be it's going to be vault add-ons so that is another chat trigger module and quote unquote mod so slash ct volt slash eight slash ct import volk add-ons it's already installed but after you've downloaded it or you have it installed you do slash volk and then you're going to be able to bro they already have a rift mod and rift is not even out yet you have garden so composter alert garden tab display move visitors hud that is pretty nice for garden you got crimson isles so broken hyperion people that do dungeon people that do like slayers this is like very nice to have because whenever you're doing slayers your hyperion will break a lot especially if you're doing void glooms and blazes lots of advanced stuff here for players there's the vanquisher counter so this is like the zealot counter but just for vanquishers gives you like your average kills for a vanquisher and stuff and then also other things if you have a vanquisher party for doing kudras and all the good stuff that's the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully this will help you guys on your skyblock journey having these mods do technically improve people's progression speed and stuff like that because of how useful it is and i'm just gonna take away these waypoints real quick because i do not want to have these on my screen but there we go these are all my mods and hopefully it helps you guys a lot until next time see ya